Hi, I'm Ben with Bodensteiner Implement and today I'm going to show you how to make a boundary on a Gen 4 display. It is necessary to have good, accurate boundaries to use features such as exact apply, section control, auto track turn automation, and boundary track. It is also highly recommended to use RTK to map these boundaries. Let's go take a look inside the cab. So here we are at the display. As I mentioned earlier, it's highly recommended to have RTK signal when mapping these boundaries. So here we can verify that we do have RTK signal and full accuracy. Next, we're going to go to Menu, Applications, Fields and Boundaries, and we're going to verify that our client, farm, and field are all filled out correctly. Then we're going to hit Create Boundaries. And we're going to create a driven boundary, then we'll hit OK. So here you can choose whether you make your boundary off of your implement or the GPS. So we're going to use the GPS receiver mounted on the tractor. And here you would choose the boundary offset you would want to use. So it is going to map the boundary from where the actual receiver is mounted on the machine. So on this tractor, we're mounted right in the center of the roof. So if we want to map off the right side, say five feet, I'm going to enter a five foot offset to the right and you can see it shifted where it's going to plot those points. You can also rename your boundary from in here. I am just going to name this one 2021 and touch OK. And you'll then hit start recording and start mapping your boundary. Here we just got done driving our exterior boundary as you can see in the top left corner of the screen. If you have waterways in your field or anything like that that you want section control to shut off for, uh, the next step is to add an interior boundary. So to do that, we'll touch down here um, at the bottom right corner of the screen. And we will then touch add interior boundary. From here, it's pretty much the same steps as making an exterior boundary. Um, we're going to use where the receiver is mounted at, again, for our offset point and keep that five foot boundary offset to the right. From there, we will touch start recording. And you can see up at the top here, it is recording now. And we will drive that interior boundary. Here we have our completed boundary with one interior boundary. If you have multiple interior boundaries, such as waterways or terraces, and need to add more than one, we can add one by touching down here in the bottom right corner, touch the pencil under interior, and touch interior boundary. Now that this process is complete, we can upload this boundary to the John Deere Operations Center where it can be reviewed and sent to other displays in your fleet as part of a setup file. Thanks for watching.